chance I'll fit in there. Look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark, but they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime.
long until we leave now. You don't look so tough. Mole fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. We're going to own that town. in charge here, not me.
enough waiting. I crave blood. breeds madness. Mm.
to go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. These things over. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! She must be terrified. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not our kid for nothing. <sighs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You 
Step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. I could understand you. Do my eyes deceive me? A drow! Here! Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men, but to each their own. Now, I've a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the Obvious, drag on. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious, oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Sylvanus, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. Keep their confidence if you insist.
By Sylvanas, the old oak, all death begets life. bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned. I would prefer not to, but if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. By Sylvanas, the Forest Father, we are granted balance.
in umbram cretus, sanguine euratus. Complexum tuum ab terra ortum ad nostifera. Breathing, despite everything. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Hostess subeunt protogenos. Muminos. Complexum tuum ab terra otum ad nos differa. Subeunt protogenos muninos. Depende nos ab immenentibus aquilibrio tuo. What did I tell you? rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. The mural depicts druid and beast fighting together to drive monsters from their land. It looks like they were victorious, and yet the monsters have returned. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? 
I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked their poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life... Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child. Take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. 
Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Every Gith Yankee has held a sword by age six, and claims their first kill by age ten. Yet these tieflings claim barely a single warrior among them. It's a wonder they've survived even this long. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. That shiver betrays your fear. Suppress it. It is useless. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. 
but anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another factor's in play. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Decadent, then. Lacking in economy. Like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. I've never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here. Seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of ceramorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If ceramorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Didn't that paint enough of a picture?
Didn't that paint enough of a picture? For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was uncalled for. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar with. Nevertheless, please don't try that again unless I invite you to. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, boy. Defend our home. It's all right. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits. And they were crossed long ago. Fur bristles. He wants to jump, wants to bite. His eyes dart back and forth as he sniffs the air. He can't see them anymore, but he can smell them. Many, many strangers. The wolf bares his teeth. He doesn't take orders from you. He'll chase you down if not for his master. Justicius. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. 
You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shah on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. So many dead. Sent to the Night Singer's embrace. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. Give me a moment. A moment. This may be Catherine's. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? It recognized you as being infected. Well now, that's something. 
How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from mind flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Wyvern poison. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look.
take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Sylvanas, I just want my bed. What if Halson is... No. Don't go there.
A deep elf. In our grove, on this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. No, I'm moments away from a grisly death at the hands of this bloody song. I can't. Nothing fits, you know? True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it, but when you're stuck and it's just getting worse, oh. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, 
My heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble. Like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. That... that it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you... for everything. Moon... Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Wait! Support the stars tonight Smile and pain will fade away Words of mine will turn to ash When you call the last light down Moon reminds me of your grace All the love I can't repay Rest and know that I will pray Farewell, my dear old friend The stars tonight smile and pain will fade away. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lehala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. It was awful. I couldn't look at a lute without hearing her screaming. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I... I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness.
Is someone singing? It's beautiful. Not reaction.
not reaction. I've got a long road ahead. will take place in shallow water, just a slice of the ankle tendons. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. No, no, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there.
One day I'll catch a break. to let up. my way. Thank you. 
take you. I am fury. I am death. What should I do? on my feet. Victory awaits. Ah! 
into the bloody fray. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. 
primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding.
Blackets will be done. Wretched thing, pull yourself together. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will not be a burden to my queen. I've never learned to converse with your kind. like that again and I'll feed you to a null. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean, thank you. For helping me. Stop. I was fine. Your mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how mum usually is? Quiet, you pals. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Those druids are going to get us killed. Nothing sacred about this lot. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together in... His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. I had a feeling you'd be back. My 
Archon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Anyway, you want to talk? Talk. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Take your time. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Hmm, doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. Or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. I'm no stranger to the Infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'm up for the challenge. You've just got to make a little space. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. when they smile.
Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Again. Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Swing and... Oh! This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Try and brace them better, um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Hold. And step. Swing. Parry. Swing. One more time. eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. You can keep your innards. Swing. Gods, deliver me. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the well, 
I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. The creche holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Right. I've got food, water, my dagger. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this your mind wonders if the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth would she taste the metal before she died shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too! You! Move! The Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too. You! <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Anger. 
gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs!
Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I'd drink to that. your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Another drought. She's one of my best mates. Thought you might work for her. Get me out of here, and I'll take you to meet her and the rest of my tribe. The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. You won't regret it, promise. Let me out, you bunch of softies. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you! Oh, you teeths are all boring! Even your cages are boring! Please, leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Feels like we're all waiting to die. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. 
Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days.
Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroakin. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramaz's tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me, in either magic or talent. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. until Roland shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. die if I met Laroa. This place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. I've missed my forge. This is ridiculous. It isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, stop with the sweet talk. Here, take the end of the bat, just in case. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother.
hair now, sweetie. Where's that old bucket? Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face before I find the troll. The target practice. <laughs> You're an idiot. Until Roland shows off his thunder wave. Right. I've got food. Depends. Water. How many people Water. are dumb enough to ask? Shame the goblins <laughs> didn't kill me. True. I say that. I'm just sad. I'm bored. rat's eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. The rat pauses, gauging whether his chipped tooth is in fact life-threatening. Apparently satisfied, he beckons you with the squeak. Follow. to bring. One more time. I wonder when the goblins will come. I'm gonna buy the eggs off your teeth. You say that like you're looking forward to it. I could use the target practice.
place is off limits. Leave. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that! You can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. <laughs> Deadly serious. Still, the sooner this wears off, the better. All the bloody things to happen. The rat chitters angrily. Whatever broke his tooth is in this room. His dark eyes stare at you, eager for this danger to be banished. If this isn't the most boring post in the grove, I don't know what is. the ends of your teeth and your bird. 
Anything? Any lotions or potions? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. <gasps> you poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Nay, bother, love. Come back any time. on someone and you aren't him. Do you mind? Blood excites me. Um, right. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough. Goblins. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Nah, he must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. And I'll bite your fingers off. I will! Wound looks clean. Small mercies. Oh, I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! You threatening me? Understand, the kid stole my locket. He, how oh, the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of coddling bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> You're an idiot.
We've known enough grief this ten day, traveller. Don't be the cause of more. If it ain't the friendly drow. Thought you were with the goblins when you showed up at the gate. Glad you weren't. You fight well. Not like them bloody tieflings. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. They chased us all the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Aye, his name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Know what you mean. Do we ever? But I, I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Terrell. I mean, in Baldur's Gate, they give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And no love was not enough. What will we 
you do for work when we get to the city? Whatever we want. I think I'd make a fine team of all waiting, waiting to die. die. Oh, a butcher. Butcher? I'm the Sure. Love excites me. No helping it. We're exposed now. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Past those goblins.
I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. You're taking a risk for us. We'll see that you're rewarded. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. Commander! Just Zevlor, Tilly. We're civilians now, remember? With respect, sir, being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take... They can, and did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. Zephlor. Waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run. 